Hello there troopers, how are we doing? Right, so this is a new one for me, this is a, a build video. Never done anything like this before, as in kind of not necessarily live video, but this will be reasonably well put together by the end of the video. Um, this is for the 3D replica SC14R blaster. Um, there are other blasters available um, that are SER types. There's various different types. I've tried to find out as much information about this blaster as I can, um, but uh, there's so many different models. I don't think there's an actual screen accurate model. I'm not sure, maybe someone can put me right with that one. Um, but anyway, as I've done the unboxing with this one, it's, it's a pretty good, like I say, it's, it's all 3D printed, all 3D printed, it's all pretty good. It's a good quality 3D print. Um, as you can see, what I've done, I have sanded certain areas just to get, take a little bit of the uh, of the printing grain off, but I think once we've got it um, primed, ready for spraying, uh, I don't think we'll have an issue. Some of the bits didn't even need anything doing to them, like you know this bit here. The muzzle had a little tiny bit on it, but uh, most of it pretty good. This is slightly grey because I did um, see what it would look like once it was uh, primed as well, and it's come up pretty well. So what you've got here in front of you is the actual body of the blaster. There is also a scope. We will be doing the scope a separate um, video, but we'll start with this one. Um, I went through the parts in the unboxing so you see exactly what there is all these components here will fit onto this all together to make what looks like uh, an SE 14 R blaster the only thing that's missing like I say will be the scope I'm basing this off the pictures from 3d replicas photos that were in the uh, Etsy sale where I bought this from so, shall we begin? We're going to start, obviously, this is the barrel, this is the, the grip, you've got grip covers, you've got the nozzle, you've got the end cap, you've got the cartridge, uh, whatever you want to call that, and uh, then you've just got little tiny bits that stick on. So, this is a weird one, because this, I didn't quite, I couldn't, yeah, initially couldn't work it out. This is actually your trigger. So you'll see in here, it just slides in, okay? Then you can obviously slide it to whatever position you're thinking of having. Um, but if you look at the way it's designed, it's obviously designed to be in the forward position, so like that. So we're gonna start, I'm using Bostic glue here. Um, it's a Bostic hard plastic. I'm not a lover of uh, super glues. Uh, I find that once it's stuck with super glue, that's it, you're stuffed. And if you're trying to get it apart, you are causing yourself um, major issues. So I'm putting a bit of glue on the front bit and on the base. So obviously that's going to slide in like that. Yeah, the front will stick inside and the base will obviously stick on the base like so I'm not sure how quick this stuff sets. I think it should be quite quick setting, but not as quick as super glue. That's the that's the beauty well, beauty of this. So I've been told I've never used it before. I'm a I'm a lover of the old uh, E6000 glue myself, but um, that is not an option when we're here sticking stuff that hopefully will stick together quickly. Okay, I think that's. Reasonably well stuck. We'll give that a couple of minutes, just to just to go off. Right. So we've got the barrel. What I've done with the barrel, I've pre-stuck a piece of piping just through the middle because, as you can see, the barrel is uh, you know there's a hole all the way through. So just to make it easier to line up, I've uh, stuck a bit of piping on one end. So we're going to be doing this and then lining it up. But it does once it's once it's actually on the on the base there it does line up pretty well because you have these two grooves here that will fit directly into 
that part of the blaster. So I'm going to put some glue around this bit. Like so. Okay. And that will be for them to stick together like that. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put glue on both parts of this so that we get a proper firm stick. Once you've got glue on here, this will also help with the with the trigger staying in place as well. Glue on there, glue on there, a little bit on each. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit in there and a little bit in that one. Yeah, this stuff kind of goes hard or goes off. So as you can see, you've got your flat area all the way along there. So we're going to put glue on there, on the flat area, on that. <laughs> We'll also put glue on these raised bits because these are the raised bits that go in. What I mean, what I would have normally done was I not doing the live one. I would have done. I think I've already said I would have done E6000, which for me, yes, the problem with E6000 is you have to wait for it to set. You you know you at least 24, 48 hours setting on that one. So uh, okay, we're there with that. We now have them two pieces that we will now stick together. And once this is in, this will make it a lot easier. Let's just check we've got the right way. Yeah, we're on the right way. So, as I said, it all fits together pretty well. And that's gone in there pretty, pretty damn good. Okay. And uh, that's that. that. I mean, as you can see, that's now taking shape as a as an actual blaster. So, uh, or a gun. I shouldn't necessarily use the word gun, should I, on uh, on here? But yeah, it's taking the shape of a of a blaster. Okay, the next piece we're going to be doing is ne necessarily the ammo uh, ammo clip. What do you call it? I can't remember what you call that. Am I receiving? Anyway, it's the <laughs> it's this piece, um, and the beauty of this is that this will just slide on. Um, as you can see, it's got a groove in it there. That groove fits in there, and it will just slide in. I will possibly put a little bit of glue inside this just thinking where it's going to go inside this middle inside this middle bit here put a little bit of glue in there whether that's going to make any contact with the actual um, blast up I don't know so then all we need to do is get the groove in the right place both sides it's quite tight actually once it uh, once you get it in the groove, so there it is, that's going in there nicely. And that slides all the way up flat against there. So that's that in there now. So see we're starting to uh, get a good looking bit of blaster going off. Okay, right, so now we have this little small piece here. And that recess in there is where that little bit goes whether it's just there to stop that sliding back off or what I don't know but um, we'll go with that we'll get that in there because we don't want to be forgetting pieces um, so once again and a blobber and a little blobber okay and away we go Go in there, hold that for a few seconds, and that should stay in place. 
as it is now. There we go. Cool. That's that. Right, so that, I mean, it's holding together pretty well. I'm, I'm quite impressed with this glue, to be perfectly honest, straight off, because uh, as I said to you, I'm not a fan of the old super glues, but uh, this is going well. We do have this piece also here. This will go on the bottom uh, of the of that bit there, but I'm probably not going to screw that on yet because I'm going to find some screws that I can screw that in with. And when we get to another video, we're not the finishing off video. I'll uh, I'll show where we are with that. Yeah, so just checking everything's looking good. Uh, it does look pretty good at the moment. Okay, so staying with this side of the blaster. Um, there's a little switch like this. Um, let me just check on the photos <laughs> just to see which way this little switch goes. Uh, it's good. I mean, it's good to look at his his so you know photos for reference, obviously. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. There's already a groove in there, as you can see, and you've got your little tiny switch bit there that will go that way. So that's pretty straightforward. Blob of glue on there, bit of glue on there. It's always good to put glue on both sides of said pieces. And on we go with that. And that's on there, give it a bit of a squidgy down. And that's that one in place. Okay. So that's that side pretty much done. Um, if we flip it over on this side, we also have a little tiny switch, which once again goes in this little recess in here. Just check that's not falling out anywhere. I don't think it will. So we have another little recess here where, once again, we've got this little switchy bit. Just a little blobby blob there and there, and some on there. That should do that. And away we go once again. It's got a little tiny uh, edge to it. It's like a flat bit there, not so flat there. You want it closer to this end, obviously, because if you're using it as a switch, it would work as a switch pointing towards the S and the C, whatever they mean. Don't know. Okay, so that's that. If we then have a look at see what other bits we have, we've still got end cap, receiver, left and right grip, side bits, um, a knob, <laughs> and this bit. This bit um, is just a bit of detail that goes on the back here. What you'll find is there's three, one, two, three, four holes, three, four. there's four holes, there's three at this end, and if you look on the actual blaster itself, there's three holes, so I'm assuming you just match those up to that there. So we're gonna see how that fits in, that fits in quite well. So we'll put some glue on, we'll put some glue on the end bit, like that. Some glue on there, a bit too much maybe. We'll put a little bit of glue inside there. A bit on the inside just to uh, see where we're going with that one. See if that's going to hold it. There. Where are we going up to? So we can put some in there as well. It may help. I'll be get a large bit in there. Okay, and then we will just slide that on there. Oh, that seems to be fixing quite well on there. Get that on there. So everything else seems to be setting pretty well, holding pretty well, holding in place. So yeah, I think I made a good choice with this glue. On the recommendation of um, 
one of my local hardware stores, Pain and Bonds. I'll put them out there, Pain and Bonds. I'll put a link in the uh, um, link below. I'm just going to have a quick slurp of the old caffeine just to keep me going. Oh, that's nice. Uh, okay, so taking shape. But this shows how quick and easy this kit is actually easy to put together. It's, you know, if you want to be, like I say, really hardcore, you can spend a lot more time sanding it. But we're all right. Okay, so that side's done. We've got that end piece of detail on. We've now got the slider knob. That's, I mean, that is what you'd use if you were reloading a weapon. That pretty much just goes in an already pre-made hole, just in there. So that's pretty easy to do. Get a blob of the old glue in there. Bit of glue around the outside of this one. Glue all over. There we go. I always put the lid back on the glue because you know, I've done it many times with uh, my E6000. Left the lid off, and next morning it's hot. If you have a look, you can see there's some. I don't know if you can see it here. There's some like grains that run that way. So I'm going to put it and keep it in so that they run that way i haven't done anything to this this piece of this piece of the uh, of the uh, print because i thought it looked pretty cool the way it is so that's that in there uh, hopefully that will stay in there it's a bit uh, it's not exactly the tightest fit in there but that should be all right give it a few minutes and we should be okay with that one okay right so next we have this piece here, which to me looks a little bit, if you know anything about your, your Star Wars um, blasters, this looks a little bit like a locking mechanism for the folding stock of uh, what would be a Sterling machine gun, which is used for the E11 blaster. That's very geeky, but the little tiny locking bits taken out. That's what it looks like to me. I don't know. Um, but it is just a little bit of detailing. It may be something more than that. I don't know. It may be something to do with the sight on the original weapon. If there is an original weapon like this one, I don't know. So that is what it is. But this goes on the top just here. Yeah. So just there. Pretty straightforward. Pretty, you know, not really much more to explain about that. It's just like I say, so like with a lot of these... A lot of Star Wars blasters, uh, not just Star Wars blasters, you know, any sort of cosplay blaster that you have, any sort of cosplay gun that you have. There's little bits of detailing that don't necessarily make any sense, but they look cool. So that's what this is. <laughs> so once again, a bit of glue on each. Put the lid back on. And that goes right on top there, sits there nicely. A little bit of excess glue over the edge there, so we may we may just leave that on because I'm, as I said before, I'm not really too fussed. It's sticking really well this glue though, I'm well and impressed with that. So there we go, that's that. You see, there's another recess here on this one. That's for your your scope or the sight, whatever you want to call it. But there's a scope that fits on there. As I said, scope will be coming in a separate. Um, separate video. Not that there's any more intense work in the scope, but it, it's you know I like I like messing around with things so that they look a bit better. Anyway, so that's the scope then. So that's that one. We're slightly running out of parts on the table, as you can see. So we have end cap and muzzle. Uh, once again, done nothing to the end cap. I like the way it is. It's got this gnarling on it and gnarling around here. It looks really cool. Um, that once again will fit perfectly on the end there. So once again, let's get a bit of gloop in there. Let's get a nice bit of gloopy gloop in there. Some around the edge. Sorry, you're not seeing that, are you? So it's a bit of gloop in there. Gloop. And I will put just a small amount.
It's gone a bit bonkers, but no problem. So then we'll go end cap on there like that. Give it a twist around just to get all that glue all over the place. And also you might find, once again, it's got that graining on it. So I'm going to keep it, keep the graining so that it's you know, kind of like level up horizontal with the rest of the blaster. Just gonna give that a few more minutes to set before I pull it down. But there we go, that's that on there. So that's looking pretty good so far. And it's how light this blaster is as well, because you'll buy some of the, I mean, I mean I'm, I'm, this, this is my first 3D print build. I'm pretty old school. I've done anything from resin to wood. When people back in the day were making uh, your E11s out of wood and polythene tubes and metal and whatever else they could find. So, um, and I've made a few of those. So, yeah, look, we're looking, uh, we're looking pretty damn cool, I've got to say. So, exactly the same process with the with the muzzle. Um, I had to do a bit of work in the muzzle because, uh, if you can see, that's a bit the, just from the printing process. But that's uh, that's all sorted. Put some glue in there and get it all the way around the edge. So that's where we want it. You don't want too much glue but then you want enough for it to stick. Put the lid back on. And once again, it's a case of on we go. And then if you want to rotate it to just get that glue all over, check it's doing what it should be doing. Get it to a position that you like. There's not really much in it on this one, but there we go. That'll do, that started to bond already, so just glue and good. Um, so there we go, so that's that. So that's the end cap and the muzzle on. As I said about that piece, that's gonna go on the bottom there, but I'll sort that out when I've got some screws to go with that one. Okay, so now we're left with the two grips, left and right. I just took a bit of the the graining off of these with a bit of sanding but I love this this gnarling on here is amazing and the shaping of it as well really cool so I'm um, thinking this is going to stick on pretty easy so we're going to because it's a really flat surface it's got a lot of flat on it but um, but I'm thinking because of the graining and because this this glue seems to be very good I think it's going to stick quite well so we'll put a little glue in here. What I'm hoping to do is um, when I get to it, I will um, I will get some screws for the holes. As you can see, there are holes there. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to line them up. I'll get some screws in there for some detail. Now you see, this is the first time I've had a bit of an issue trying to line things up and get things to stick. So. But that seems to be. You think of that a bit of a move. Yeah, it's not really sticking particularly well. What I found is that if you get it, you've got this side here. If you get this flat and this flat here. It seems to line up better with the uh, with the holes. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not convinced that that's actually sticking particularly well. No. 
I think we're going to need a little bit more glue on this one. Okay, so there's a bit more glue on there. We may have a little bit more success with the sticking process. Feels a little better. Just trying to get it lined up, obviously, so that uh, now it's sliding all over the place because it's got that much glue on it, which isn't an issue. Not an issue, but that feels a bit better. That feels like it's actually sticking now, which is good. Okay, just bring that down a little bit to there. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna hopefully that will stick that side. <laughs> if not. Like I say, you'll know when we come back, but we're going to place them. No, I think it's just come off. See, sometimes things don't always go how you would expect them. This is, this is life. I should have bought some clamps with me, but I don't have any clamps. So unfortunately, we're going to have to just do our best and hold that in place whilst we're making the video. So we'll hold that in place there. So we need to do the same with this side, obviously. And get a decent amount of glue on first time round. We might be all right this time. That's the plan anyway. So uh, we'll get some more glue on here. We'll get some on here. There we go. Whilst still holding the other side, had you brought your clamps with you, you may have succeeded a little better with the uh, sticking process, but uh, I think we're doing all right. Don't want too much glue on that side. I'm not really sure where we're going. Okay, so let's get that on there. Get on. Okay, get that in place. I can feel the other one falling off already. So we've probably got a little bit too much glue up top there. But uh, as I've said before, there's, there's a uh, <laughs> there's a happy medium with glue. Too much or too little. You can never quite sometimes get it right. So there we go. That's going to come over a bit more that way to line up with the holes. And there we are. Okay. So as you can see, the 3D replicas um, SE. 14R blaster, 3D printed blaster is actually very, very, very easy to put together. Um, and if you're using the right glue, <laughs> it will stick. I think the other side started to stick now, so it's started to hold, started to go off now. I can still hear it squeezing a bit, but there we go. So yeah, there we go. I think that was that was really easy. Um, that was probably what about 30 minute long video. It's probably the longest video I've ever done. Um, and we'll see how that turns out. I can now safely flip it around the other side because that has stuck in place now that one So it does stick pretty pretty quick and pretty well this glue It's almost like a super glue, but not quite which is exactly what I want. So there we go. So there you go um, I'd recommend this I haven't like I say I've still got the, the scope to do Which um, will be in the next video now. I've obviously worked out that this glue does work well I can do the scope because the scope's got a few screws and things in it as well that, that will hold it together. But uh, 
there we go fantastic that is the 3d replica uh, se 14 r blaster kit um not completely completely completed yet but it will be once we get the, the scope which will sit on top thank you very much for watching um if you have any comments put them in below please be respectful um like definitely like if you like what you see share and above all please subscribe to my channel um it's been out there a long time and i'm doing a lot of different things now with regards to well not different things but a lot more things now um so that's really all i've got time for today you can go about your business move along move along